Welcome back to Recording School Videos, Side Shading Part 2. Now we're going to show you a number of things that can be done with this. And they vary considerably. And most of them are quite useful. All right. Now, if you haven't seen Part 1, watch that first. We're on Part 2. And what we're doing, of course, is triggering a synth part from the kick drum which we're gating and now we're going to process it further to create kind of a more rhythmic thing. And these videos are just to kind of give you creative ideas that you could spring from and take in your own direction as a producer. So once again, first we got our Moog and uh, let's tweak the Moog a little bit. Very cool. Now, what I'm going to do is actually automate the cutoff frequency changing. So I'm going to go up here and turn on my automation. Where's my transport? Go back and let's animate it. Okay, turn that off, leave it on read. Notice, automatic. Cool, okay, let's take that further. Now I've got uh, Tornado on here. And what I've added is little phase, stutter, and pitch delay, as well as vowel filter. And you can choose whatever effects you like. I'm going to automate these. Once again, this is being triggered by the kick drum. Happens on every kick drum. Here's the fun part. Check this out. Of course, it's going to play back the phaser because we just automated that. And we're going to add some stutter and other effects. Let's continue. And for this, I'm going to go ahead and just turn this up and automate this to some degree. Thank you. 
Very cool. Okay, now let's mess with this and add a little more feedback. Let's take it further. Go to the next video.